Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from LearnHyperNumption.com. This is a very quick video related to test ng errors that you might be facing right now. Now, if you're a beginner, if you're trying to learn test ng, maybe you're applying for a job change or your learnings from the scratch, it could be very frustrating the moment you write your first test ng class and the first test ng method, you might get this error called no such method error. Even if you're working with existing framework, the moment you upgrade, you might come across this issue. Maybe you have an existing framework, recently updated with the latest version, and you might get this error called no such method error. So I will show you how to fix it, just a minor fix. But just to show you, I have only one sample test class, which is sample, and I just created one test method called test1, and I'm printing hello test ng. And I don't want to run as a Java application, I want to run this as a test ng method. The moment I try to run this, you will get this java.lang no such method error. And if you try to inspect, it gives the complete detail. Now you don't have to make any changes from the code side because obviously this is just a sysout statement. But this issue is coming because of the latest version. So at the time of recording this video, I'm using the latest version. So if you go to MVN repository and search for testng, I use this 7.9.0, which was released in 26, 2023. The moment I use the latest version, I'm getting this. So whenever you do not have any issues from the code side and you get this kind of errors, always try to use the latest minus one. In our case, I can see 7.8.0 or 7.7.1. These have the highest number of usages. So let's give a try with 7.8.0. So just go ahead and change this version and save this. This time, if you come here and execute, your program should run successfully. So since we're doing just one sysout statement, it says hello test ng. And this is what we have mentioned here. And then it says passed because we don't have any validation. So it simply says passed because it's executing the simple statement. Test one, zero failure, zero skip. So very quick hack, but it could be very useful for someone who does not have any idea what went wrong. It could be very helpful with someone who is just starting and they are struggling with this. So that's all about this video. If you found this video useful, do share with your friends, colleagues, those who are learning test or automation. And I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.